हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल ब्रिलियंट माइंड्स पैन हीरो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू प्रैक्टिकली द वर्क यू कैन डू हाउ यू कैन यूज स्टाइल एक्शन सी हियर देर थ्री ऑप्शन है स्टाइल एक्शन एंड आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव वॉच माई अदर वीडियो ऑन स्टाइल इन दैट आई एड यूज दीज ऑल दीज कैटेगरीज लाइक पैराग्राफ कैरेक्टर फ्रेम टेबल एंड लिस्ट ऑल्सो but in this i'm going to specially i'm going to uh, emphasize on this part style sections only and you have not watched the other videos please do watch how to install libreoffice and other videos also okay let us start now i have taken a piece of text here okay to show you the work how you can apply on these uh, on these styles now first option is new style form selection so what you have to do first you have to select the text and some and make some changes in the text okay suppose i want to make the font size bigger make it 20 points and uh, here area black okay now i want to save it as new selection new dialog box is open for you you have to enter new style name so suppose i want to name it as arial black and 20 just for further use and for identification i have taken both the changes here what i'm done here okay click on okay now you see the same thing has been added here arial black and 20 new style has been created now how you can use it see as you used before in the previous video i showed you how you have to do it just select a piece of text and double click on any style so just double click it and see the changes is there fine but suppose you want to make some changes here of course you can make same changes like you can right click on it and click on edit style so here you see the font fine arial black is there size is 20 point font effects suppose i want to make some changes in color i want to make it red okay then apply see in the background you see it has been applied and click on okay fine okay and if you want to apply the new thing new style to here same thing has been done here okay fine so if you want to update a piece of text how you can do it so if you want to update it go to the second option update selected style and here you can make any change you can make it italics you can make it underlined you can make it green or whatever whatever change you want to make you can it is not that it has been fixed the style is of course you have applied to all the three paragraphs but suppose if you want to make some changes in only one paragraph so this is the way you can update your style fine now the last option comes it's very important and very interesting also load styles from templates you know what is template already created pre built so here you see there are different categories in the left pane my templates business correspondence drawings localization and many more in my templates i have added these 1 2 3 4 four templates have been created by me, by me suppose i want to first i'll show you what's the effect if i click on this one for this one thing you have to keep in mind this check box override should be clicked it should be checked okay now i want to insert channel logo okay i'll click on okay and see it has been inserted here this is the template i had created one more template i'll show you once again suppose i want to insert list template again see the override should be checked okay now i'll show you the names of the okay okay i'll do it once again now list of templates and override should be checked and click okay see here the names of months is here this is the list i had created If you want to open, you want to see whatever template I had created. I can show you that also. Click on open. In that, you see is a channel logo, list template, and so many I have created. Okay. Now, if you want to see other templates, go to templates in file menu. There are three options. Last one is manage templates. See here, channel logo was created. My main list template also, and some more templates are there. Suppose I want to open this CV. okay or uh, i can open this resume okay so here you can type your name you can make some changes here 
likewise you can make some changes here in the address line education everything but important thing is you have to save it as template save as template that is for sure make it sure and give some name now if you can write resume of niru fine okay now you have to but you have to tell the category in which category it has been saved you want to save it in my templates fine okay now click on save now you can minimize you can close also you can it is no more required save okay uh, just i'm for the timing i'm just to save the time i'm just cancelling it i'm not saving it now again now you want to enter that resume created by me load styles for templates see here the new name is entered here resume of niru just you have to select it over it is okay it is checked then click on okay see here just now i make the changes here niru jaggi and this address line everything is there everything was same i did not make any changes in that so likewise you can create your own templates and make the changes in those okay and you can edit also there are some more edit templates save as template you can edit the template also resume of niru suppose okay okay list template i'm opening okay in this you can make some changes you want to make it as red different colors whatever you want to make some changes just change it save it and use it in your library office okay fine i hope you have understood whatever i have taught today about styles actions okay keep enjoying watching my videos and doing the practicals and practicing it as well all the best students